Hello everyone, this is Alex of Ale uh, Avenue Games, and today I'm playing one of my absolute favorite games, XCOM Enemy Unknown, slash Enemy Within, there's an expansion. Those who play with the devil's toys will be brought by degrees to wield his sword. So this is a strategy game, a real-time stra- er, no, turn, sorry, turn-based strategy game, uh, following uh, the XCOM project which is a special task force designed to fight off an alien invasion, which is, you know, what you're watching right now. People need to know that if something falls from the sky and is glowing green, you don't walk to it. That shade of green is the universal sign for this is bad. Anyway, so, um, I'm gonna let you watch the cutscene because I'm a big fan of it, personally. But uh, you essentially you control a squadron of soldiers and you have to level them up and fight off aliens and go on missions. But there's also a sort of, a sort of other facet which I'll show you, which is sort of a, a base management style, where you have to build new uh, technologies. You take alien technology and, ba and reverse engineer it into new weapons and armor. You, um, you can make mech soldiers or genetically engineered super soldiers. And uh, ultimately the goal is to keep uh, your members nations in the XCOM project from um, from pulling out and Hello, withdrawing Kiger. your funding. Alright, this guy's talking and he has in a great voice. In light of the so recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your oh, efforts so will badass. have considerable influence oh, on this so cool. planet's future. I love the hollow globe. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. <laughs> Good luck, Commander. I want, I want that guy's voice when I grow up. If I grow up, you know. XCOM. Within. Within is the expansion that added things like genetic genetic modifications, um, mech soldiers. So we have to decide which continent we're going to start our base in, and they each have different bonuses. I'm going to take Africa because I'm boring and it gives the best all-around bonus. These are all very specific uh, specialties. See, North America gives you cheaper planes, Asia makes your uh, advanced level stuff do better. Africa just gives you 30% more money all the time. So I'm going to confirm. Here we go. We were going on we're our first mission in Alexandria, border. Egypt. We picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity. So we've got to kill all the aliens all and a secondary objective is we can get all the hostiles. meld, which is what allows us to make those special soldiers. But there's some research involved with that that I'll show you in the uh let's Strike get that one. Scene. This is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't this take is a chances. difficult map because the aliens can come from any part of this building and there are two stories. I'm not too worried because the early uh, aliens are fairly tame and won't kill us immediately like later ones will. But the easiest way to get killed in, in XCOM is to get cocky, so I'm going to be playing it pretty safe. This yellow area, that that's, uh, represents your dashing speed. You, If you run there, you can't do anything else on the turn. But if you run inside this blue area, you can, for example, run there. Okay. And then you can either shoot, or in this case, I'm going to put Miss Michelle Cook into Overwatch. Which means that if on the enemy turn, anything comes into her field of vision, she's going to automatically fire at them. Mr. Davies is faster than, or Ho Holly Davies, sorry, Miss, lovely Ms. Davies is faster than Miss Cook and is going to come up behind this weird Heading nasty out. alien thing. You can see our fog of war is clearing so we can just check what's just inside that building and we're going to put her on overwatch as well. Each uh, rookie also has a grenade which uh, they can use in emergencies, though the uh, Dr. Valen, the professor, will explain to you why that's not always a good idea in a little bit. Um, where are we going to put Aaron Lynch? I didn't even read the, other, the last guy's name. Who are you? Zoe White. We've got a girl squad today, which is nice. Moving Here we to go. Position. 
Uh, okay. Thought we'd met an enemy already, but this is meld. It, it, we have six turns to get there before it, you know, expires like old milk. So, essentially, if we can get there, we get a certain amount of resource that we can use later, like in a, a while, to make cool stuff. But that's our secondary objective. Right now, we're just focusing on taking out the enemy. Now, Holly Davies shouldn't go over there. Let's take... Aaron Lynch out first over here. Solid We're gonna attack copies. this sector of the building first. And then sweep across like that. Because there's a, b a back of the building too. It's over here. Which is a pain. A lot of times aliens will hide out back there. And you have to go uh, to the trouble of hunting them down. Let's put... Let's put Miss Cook on up on this wall. This wall has a full shield of cover, you can see that there, whereas this be this trash can only has half a shield of cover. That means that uh, Michelle Cook is way more safe than Aaron Lynch right now. Oh, I accidentally turned the camera. Sorry if that gave you motion sickness, anybody. Well, let's have Moving. Holly Davies backing up, and Zoe White has a little, uh, is extended in a bit the wrong direction, so we'll have her group up with, uh, that's not Davies, is it? Oh man, when they're all, oh that is Davies, when they're all the same, when they're all rookies, I have a lot of trouble keeping track of them. I think next turn we're gonna get, what's her name? What's this girl, uh, Cook, in here, and she's going to access the melt. Moving. She's probably gonna meet up with an enemy. Alien there we go. We're witnessing something never before seen These are sectoids. History. They're like the runts of the, of the litter when it comes to, to XCOM aliens, but you know, if you give them enough luck, they can do some bad stuff, so we don't want to give them any benefit of the doubt. I'm going to put this person Heading here. Out. And then we can take a 45% chance on that, uh, and then 25, see, because that guy has full cover, this guy only has half cover. Let's take the shot. Nah, miss. I hate rookies. Rookies are awful. Can't wait to get some real soldiers. Did they send me daughters? Well, way. actually they did. They uh, sent me a lot of daughters. But they're very talented and well so we're good. Bye -bye. Die, sectoid. And it says down here, this is what Bal Balin Bal is saying, the we weapon self-destruct, which means that we can't that steal the weapon per se, but we can pick up the fragments and use them to research new weaponry for ourselves which is a really useful tool. To the next weapon upgrade is lasers, which is so much fun. And just for demonstration purposes, I could probably not, no, not yet. Overwatch there. And I want you to advance into Headed this position. Now. And it hasn't alerted us yet, but there's some meld over there that we can't see. That's gonna be useful to get. Oh, that was Overwatch in action. See, she fired without me having to. It's good because it can sometimes get sectoids or enemies out in a position that's dis dis disadvantageous. Pardon me. Ooh, uh-oh. All right, Cook, take this one out. She can get up close and get a flanking shot. This is red because the sectoid will also be flanking her. But if she can just get a good, strong hit. Well, no. Um, I want to just see what her... Nah. 96% chance to hit and almost 100%. Nice kill cam. Alright, how are we gonna swing this? Holly Davies, come up on the left. Come on. Oh, come on! Incompetent. Yeah, you better get it next time. Out of there now. The end of the game in a, is in a lot of ways just a spray and pray because... Alright, so I haven't been recording for a little while. We finished that last mission. I'm not sure where it cut off. And we're just starting another mission. I just noticed it wasn't recording. So here we go. We're going through this train station, or train yard. This is a very difficult map. Again, again I'm not getting very lucky this time around. Holly Davies. Take this position. Oh! Oh, great. Spot on the very first move. Well, it might be good for us. 
Oh, but they're hiding, so nothing to shoot. Overwatch. Zoe White is our support. Let's get her behind this guy. And then we want to get our sniper as high up as possible. The snipers get extra bonuses from uh, elevation. Right now, this is the best we can do, but uh, I intend Running. to do better in the future. The snipers also can only uh, move, they can't move and shoot with their sniper in the same turn, so they have to sort of set up a position and then just fire away. So, at first, they're, ver they're very difficult to be tactical with. Uh, I'm worried about that sniper though, because she's not in a very good position, and she's kind of separate. But yeah, so you dash a lot with the snipers in the very beginning. Then there are abilities that make it so you don't need to run around, or you, need, you don't need to be so risky with the sniper. Ah, oh, yes, Davies! You're redeeming yourself. And he's gonna come through. And no Overwatch, really? So this sectoid is being buffed by another sectoid. Nice. Phew. Missed. I don't want that, that sniper whose name I don't know to get hurt. I, can, I have a 55 chance to hit this. Take the shot. Boom. Nice kill. Um, what is a position we can take this guy to? Hop down here, will you get a shot? It's not a good shot. In fact, it's so not a good shot that we're just gonna have you take cover. Keep your eye out. Keep an eye out. Ooh, we've got a flank shot. So when they're being buffed like this, if you kill the one that's doing the buffing, it'll damage the one that's being buffed. And we've got a 65% chance to do this. This could be... Oh, come on. That is Zoe White... Or no. Oh, Holly Davies. Holly Davies sucks. She's terrible. I hate her already. I might just fire her. I, I Zoe White, come on. Do me proud. Well, we could just shoot this guy. Why can't Holly Davies do that? Now we miss our chance for the two for. Oh no, now we, we still have it. This might be a situation where I can get some value out of grenades. But I'm not sure. Oh, but he's running away, so that's something. Oh, come on! Davies, at least she's good as a meat shield. Well, let's run her up and I'm just. That's what we're looking for. Take a 58% chance. What? Terrible. Yeah, and see, now it's destroying that guy, too. Boom. Nice. We're going to need some heals in this situation, but uh, we'll be okay. On the move. Carpenter, move up to join the crew. Affirmative, moving out. And Lynch, take up a new position. The next couple turns, I think we're going to... Um, try to take that melt. And Lynch, this is a little risky, but I'm Rolling putting you out. on top of this. You don't get cover up there, but you do get a height advantage, which makes it a little bit harder for enemies to shoot you. Uh, but she is pretty vulnerable, so I hope I don't lose Aaron Lynch in this turn. Good, they're only taking one shot, which means that she won't die this turn, but she might get hurt. I've always got a med pack, and I would rather use it on Aaron Lynch than Holly Davies. Ooh, that's not pretty. But she's got a great shot on back on them. Let's give Aaron Lynch a shot. Take on that one. Fire. Yes, kill shot. Go. There you go, girl. This is just a huge squadron of girls. Is this an entire female program? Huh? What do you know?